So this is question five of the Core Concepts class test book. A uh, frightening looking uh, molecule there. Uh, Parmitoyl tripeptide 1 is three amino acids bonded to a molecule of palmitic acid, which is shown there. And you reminded that these are actually in triglycerides, so it's like a, you know, like a, a fatty acid. The diagram shows the structure of that, okay, and here are some components. So these are in there somehow. But it starts off, name the bond, okay. Name the bond used to put amino acids together. So that's got to be our peptide bond. And checking it, it's it looks right with a double bondo and the NH, that looks right there. Use the diagrams to identify the primary structure of this tripeptide. Yikes. Well, we have got... Somehow we've got to find, find these on here. Well, that's a peptide bond there. So that's division between two of them. That's a peptide bond there. And so, can we find, so that would be the amino end of an amino acid, that's an acid end, this is a red herring, that's an R group. So we've got one there, this is one here, this is one here. So those are our three amino acids and this is the R group of one, that's the R group of another. This one's only got, doesn't appear to have an R group, well that's because the H's aren't shown on here, so the R group would be in the middle there. So this one is, that one's that one. This one with the the ring, aromatic ring on it, that's that one. And this is a tricky one, this little squidgy one there, that's our glycine. So our answer is palmitic acid, glycine, then it's this one which is histidine. And the last one is whatever this one is, lysine. Quite tricky that. The molecules claim to be better at penetrating skin due to it having hydrophilic and hydrophobic properties. Name the part of the molecule which is hydrophobic. So this is going back to your uh, knowledge of these different biological compounds and this palmitic acid, this fatty acid, you know that from phospholipids and also in kind of triglycerides. It says it's a component of triglycerides of fats. So that is the hydro, hydrophobic. So that's the palmitic acid component. And here's collagen. And... A fully functional protein is actually this tropo collagen. So sometimes you might see pictures of this and they just call it collagen, but actually it's tropo collagen. Using the diagrams above, I explain why collagen is said to have a secondary. So that one is secondary. And this one has quaternary. Well, secondary well you, what do you remember about the secondary so you they've got the chain of amino acids coiled into a an alpha helix so this single chain into an alpha helix so single polypeptide chain there it is and it's coiled into an alpha 
helix and that is for collagen whereas tropo collagen the big thing about quaternary proteins you know it's more than one polypeptide chain so and it's got three separate polypeptide chains that gives it away describe how the level of proteins which show in the collagen diagram would be different if it had a tertiary structure well tertiary structure is where you get bending and folding of the chain into kind of like a 3d structure so it's just just really given us that definition so folding of the chain into a globular structure into a globular or 3d structure and it's the R groups that are holding this holding this together we might put uh, interactions between R groups you probably don't need that uh, just this bolder bending and folding of the chain